you may have seen my next guest from his appearances on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon or even back in the day with Jay Leno. Now you can catch comedian Bobby Collins' gripe on everything from millennials to living in New York. Catch his hilarious act at the Comedy Works in Greenwood Village this weekend. And Bobby Collins joins me here. Hi. Karen, a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's such a pleasure to meet I you, too. I get very shy around attractive Canadian women. Oh, my. Well, oh, I'm half American, too. Canada. <laughs> we never know the word. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But you're here in Denver right now. Love Denver. Love so Denver. So you've been to Denver before, right? Yes. What I, are your thoughts on the city? The people wear their hearts are on their sleeves. Mm -hmm. They know the value of a dollar, and they basically look into people. That where I come from is called a neighborhood. That's <laughs> wonderful. I feel very comfortable here. Well, welcome to our neighborhood. Thank you for having me. And if you haven't noticed, it's snowing outside. <laughs> you did something funny on Facebook, uh, you know, kind of making fun. Where I was Denver. going to Denver. There you are with your ski goggles. Did you <laughs> jinx us? What's going on? No, I'm in the office. The girl that works for me, Bobby, we're going to Denver. Let's do something. I can't believe you're putting it on. <laughs> Well, it's snowing outside. There you go. Now you now you can make use of your ski gloves oh, and your goggles. Oh, that's funny. Oh, God. That's Listen, how you find that? Oh, really? Well, Village, you know, we have a crack team of researchers that go on Facebook. Not me. It's, I'm AOL. Are you? Are oh, you yeah. not online and off the grid? Oh, I'm not. AOL.com. I said <laughs> that to a guy next to me on a plane who had metal all over his face. Looked like he fell into a tackle box, <laughs> right? 12 rings going across his eyebrows. He's looking at me, I'm looking at him. I go, you ought to put a shower curtain up there. <laughs> it's kids. Too much, too much. Too much. All right, well, you're performing at Comedy Works, as I mentioned, um, which is a comedy club. But you didn't get your start in comedy clubs, did you? You opened for people like Dolly Parton and Cher yeah. and Frank Sinatra. Yeah. I mean, so. I was lucky. I was lucky. I was doing some comedy clubs, and in the beginning in New York City, you go to a club called Catch a Rising Star, and a guy came over to me afterwards, handed me his card. He goes, Have your agent call me. I go, You mean my parents? <laughs> and I brought it to this guy that was interested in me in a uh, uh, ICM, his name, and I, I, I gave it to him. He goes, Who gave you this card? I go, This old guy. He goes, Do you know who this is? No. He goes, Well, I ended up doing an 88 city tour with Cher. Oh, my so it was it was fun and money. And then from Cher, I went to Dolly, then Sinatra, then to Julio Iglesias, to all the girls mm. I love before, you know? And it was wonderful. Then I do some comedy clubs and a lot of theaters now. Yeah. Yeah. That's why so, it's great to come here. I mean, it was a different vibe back then, right? Than working in a comedy club. So did you start there? What was what was it like going to a comedy club after you've opened for these amazing performers? Uh, it was a different level. I noticed that you had to play closer to an audience because they were like here. When in, in theaters, they were out like this. So it taught me a lot. But uh, I was glad I started in the bigger venues than the smaller ones, because mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable in the large ones. All right. Well, as I mentioned, you're from New York. New York. My mom's from New York, the Bronx. There Shout you out go. to her. Uh, but so basically, when you're performing around the, you know, other cities, right. everyone else is from Kansas, right? Like well, compared to New York. So what kind of reactions do you get as a New Yorker on stage in different cities, especially Midwest? People like knowing that uh, they want to hear your take on everything from New York. People hold New York up even though they might, I don't like it. Uh, I was just in Birmingham, Alabama. These people are not that high up on Brain Mountain. When you talk to them, you want to say to them, why don't you roll your head around so I can hear that marble going oh. around and around. It's the only place, Karen, in my life that I ever said to another human being, hey, that's, that's a nice tooth. And the guy thanked me. He went, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. There might be a couple of people from Alabama watching today. Well, then they know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> We're sharing the planet with a lot of different types of people. We got to start thinning out the herd. Oh the gene pool could use some chlorine. Thank God we're here in Denver. Thank God. <laughs> well, there are people from all over the place. I know, they come here yeah. so they can open up their eyes and, and their see. ears and learn. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a book out. Yes. It's called On the Inside. Why did you decide to write a book? And what's it about? It's uh, witisms and wisdomisms. Mm. Uh, people said I, I gave good advice out. My wife, Italian from Italy, Harry, she, uh, she said to me, Bobby, 
put it down, put a lot of your, and you know, God first, family second, career third, take one, put ahead of the other, you always got to get back on. Things that guided me through life that I've learned lessons, valuable lessons that work. And people, if they apply it, they, I, I get letters all the time saying, how come no one ever told us? This is what I was taught. These are the ideals in my heart. So I put it all down through humor. You'll laugh a lot. One chapter you'll probably cry, but you'll end up giving it to a family member or somebody else and go, you should read this book and open up your eyes. All right. We can find that on your website, bobbycollins.com, yes. Amazon, all that stuff. Yes. Okay. So we got about 20 seconds. What can people expect from your comedy work show tonight and tomorrow? Uh, to have some fun, mm -hmm. to listen, to uh, examine themselves, hold up a mirror, take a look at themselves and see, and, it, it's a, it, and laugh and learn to enjoy life and not worry and turn the television off. It's scaring the life out of people. Do what I did. I, I turned the television off. I ended up uh, disconnecting our, our security system in our house in Santa Monica. I went out and bought two, two Syrian flags. I went online, I bought that ISIS flag. I'm sitting here right now in front of my house, local police Sheriff, Homeland Security, FBI, CIA. I'm saving $49. All right, a well, month. good for you, Bobby. But you got to keep the TV on when you're watching Coco. His house is fully guarded, so we know <laughs> that. All right, well, thanks so much for nice being with us. Nice meeting you, Karen. Well, catch funny man Bobby Collins at Comedy Works South at the Landmark tonight and Saturday. That's 5345 Landmark Place in Greenwood Village. Showtimes are 7 15 and 9 45 p.m. Call 720-274-6800 for tickets or go online to comedyworks.com. You can also find Bobby's new book, On the Inside, Witticisms and Wisdom-isms at bobbycollins.com and Amazon.